Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here, and today we are completely eliminating the fat shot from your golf game. And there's one really commonly taught technique out there that's actually causing people to hit behind it and they have no clue. It's one of those power moves, but it's causing you more harm than good. And I wanna make sure that we extinguish your fat shot problem right now. Let's get started. The commonly taught power move that causes you to hit fat shots is this. The notion of turning your back to the target. This right here, creating as much of a diagonal line here, coiling up over the right side or the trail side. And what this causes is two things. One, when I start an address, this is where my shoulder center is. There's a circle around my shoulders. If I turn my shoulders in a circle like this, the club travels in a circle around my body and it gives me a good chance of hitting the ground in the same spot every single time. Best ball strikers demonstrate that. If we turn our shoulders like this, creating this diagonal line, sure you feel a coil buildup, but I've shifted my shoulders off of the golf ball. I've created a situation where my point of contact is no longer at the ball, it's more so back here. Not only that, my path is way out to the right, so I'm giving myself a chance of hooking the ball. You'll see a lot of thin shots from this position and a lot of hooks. And I just top that one because my point of contact is so far back when I do this. However, the opposite is to do, to go from here to do this instead, get over the ball, which the best ball strikers demonstrate. If you get over the ball, you keep your shoulders turning in a circle instead of turning off of the ball. And this will give you the best chance for consistent clean contact. Big difference in quality of contact and how the club approaches the ball. A lot more power, a lot more cleanliness, keeping the body over the ball in the golf swing. A lot more effort and a lot more timing required if I take my shoulders and I simply turn my back to the target like this. The golfer who does this will consistently struggle with finding the fairway. <laughs> I guarantee you, you'll consistently struggle with poor contact and you increase the chance of you hitting behind the ball because you have moved your point of contact behind the ball when you do that move. This is a very common problem among a lot of amateur players. So how do we fix the problem? It's easier said than done, but you've been used to turning and coiling this way, creating a massive diagonal line here. You need, instead of a diagonal line of your lead side, you need more of a straight line. And that's gonna require a couple of different feelings. First of all, start from your backswing position. And I want you to get yourself upright over the ball where your head is in perfect line with the ball. And whatever that feels like, that's your top of backswing position. It might feel like you've got a lot more weight on your front side. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with having more weight on your front side. In fact, the best players stay centered over the golf ball and you'll see weight accumulate on the front side by the top of the backswing. So there's nothing to fear about that. You don't have to say, man, I'm not shifting my weight. You don't have to say that. Your problem is you're actually shifting too much off the ball. So keep yourself over it. Don't worry about shifting. You'll create plenty of power by hitting it clean and taking the club around your body instead of loading up the backside and having to shift back through the other way. Too much work. So we're here, we're moving to here, and then I want you to swing and hit one. Get an idea of what that feels like. You don't have to hit a good shot there. It's not the point. The point is getting used to the feeling. Then I want you to do this. This is your top of backswing position. Get over it again address the ball from that position, and take a swing. What you're going to build is that feeling of being over the ball instead of being tilted too much away and turning your shoulders level like this. One of the biggest issues in the golf swing today. Instead of doing this for your first move, you'll start doing this which keeps the shoulders turning in a circle around your upper back, and that gets the club tracing the same path in a circle around your body, a very consistent, powerful path. So, Segudo golfers, get over the golf ball, get away from these ways, and you'll greatly decrease the risk of you chunking it, 
you'll increase the chance of you puring it exponentially. Get over it, turn your shoulders in a circle, and there will be happy days ahead. This is simply a fantastic, easy tip for you to start experiencing crispier than KFC contact by eliminating one of those commonly taught things in the golf swing that's actually creating your chunking problem. Get rid of this, come to this, and you will see some seriously clean shots. And do it with all the clubs in your bag, pitching wedge through driver, everything. So Segudo golfers, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to this channel if you want the best ball striking of your life. I'm here to help you get there. Comment in the section below if you enjoyed this tip and it helped you become a better golfer because Segudo Golf is all about helping golfers all over the world play their best golf right now. You can do it and I'm here to help you get there. And if you're looking for a simplified way to play your best golf, check out my website, segudo.golf, which is a simplified golf swing learning program, short three to five minute videos taking you from foundation to finish in the golf swing and also covering bunker play, pitching, chipping, putting, and more as I continue to help golfers all over the world play their best golf. Thank you again. I'll see you in the future episode and have a rockin' week.